Robert Whitaker should be Paulo Costa. He's just a better fighter. He has the better resume, and I think he's better on the feet. He's better on the ground, and overall has just beaten a lot of really good fighters. But if Paulo Costa can land one clean punch, it could be lights out for Robert Whitaker. All right, guys. So now we have Robert Whitaker versus Paulo Costa. I didn't think this fight was going to happen. I'm surprised that it's still. Uh, schedule to happen because we all know Paulo Costa's history um, and just unfortunate uh, situations that he finds himself in, whether he pulls out or, or there's an injury or something else going on. But he has pulled out of a, of a lot of fights in the last few years. Um, and the fans are kind of, you know, trolling him and kind of frustrated in the way towards Paulo Costa. Because Paulo Costa, he, he talks a lot of shit on, on social media and trolls a lot of people on social media. So um, it, that's kind of its own battle. So uh, I'm happy, though, that this fight's still scheduled to happen. And I'm I'm scared that, uh, you know, something's just going to happen fight week. And for some reason, we may not have a fight for Robert Whitaker and uh, Paulo Costa. But I'm hoping they still fight. And I really hope that uh, it stays scheduled. Because if it does... I would just like to see, you know, Robert Whitaker bouncing back from the Duplices fight. And then, you know, Paulo Costa, he needs to get back in rhythm because I've said this about him. I think he's a really good fighter. And, you know, if, if he stays consistent, I can see him fighting for uh, the title or just fighting uh, to be one of the best fighters in the, the division. But, you know, he hasn't been in he hasn't been consistent and, and is constantly pulling out fights in his most recent uh fight against Hamzak Chimaev, which was a very, very hype hyped fight and a lot of people were looking forward to that fight. And of course he had some infection, which was very reasonable. But um, you know, and we don't see those things. We don't know about him and we just all think he pulled out. But, you know, later on he came out and, and showed us what was going on with him, which is kind of disgusting to be honest with you. Um, so very unfortunate because that's a fight that I really wanted to see and uh, us as fans wanted to see, but you know, then we saw Hamza get tested by Usman. So we got that out of it. Um, so that's kind of the first thoughts, you know, I have of this fight. Um, but I'm very excited to see how both guys come out. Right. Cause I think it's very clear what Robert Whitaker is trying to accomplish, right? He wants to get himself back into the title conversation and if he wins this fight, I mean, whether he fights the winner of whoever's next for Drake is, or he could possibly fight, you know, a number one contender title shot, whatever they want to call it. But, you know, have another fight that gets him to the title. And, and for Paulo, I don't think a lot of people expect him to win. And I think if he does win, I think he can make an argument to fight for the title, you know, because he beat a, he beat a big name like Robert Whitaker. Or, you know, he can definitely get his shot against Hamzak again, which we all still want to see. Um, so there's that. Uh, so that's kind of what at stake for the for on, on this fight, I mean, you could say, or for the fight. Um, I don't know what direction it's going to go. You know, Paulo Costa looked really sloppy. I thought against uh, Luke Rockhold, Luke Rockhold is not even fighting anymore. He's, he went on and did bare knuckle. I don't know if he's still doing that or not. Um, but he struggled. I understand the fight was in altitude, but Luke Rockhold landed some very, very clean shots on you. And, you know, if it wasn't a, thir a three-round fight, I thought Paulo Costa was going to be out of it. I mean, Luke Rockhold, too, I mean, he couldn't even stand up anymore. So it was kind of a, you know, it was definitely a slugfest, but kind of sloppy, to be honest. Uh, so... You know, Robert Whitaker being a cleaner fighter, more experienced fighter. And I, like I said earlier, has beat a lot of really good guys. Um, it's it just kind of hard for me to accept and see uh, a way of Paulo coming out uh, victorious out of this fight. Um, I was surprised, you know, when Marvin beat Paulo Costa. I don't think, you know, Marvin's a guy who's up there for sure. But to me, he's never broken the barrier to beat an elite fighter and the fact that he was able to beat Paulo Costa it's kind of like damn you know and Robert Whitaker beat Paulo Costa I mean uh Marvin he's been there he's been in there with Israel with Sean uh I wish I could say his uh his wins real quick because let's see so he has beaten 
Marvin, Kelvin, Jared, Darren Till, lost to Izzy, has beat Yoel twice. Um, so, that, I mean, Brunson's in there. So that just goes to show you who Robert Whitaker is and who he has beat. And it's very impressive who he has beat versus Paulo Costa, who was in a very good fight against Yoel Romero. But, I mean, that's probably his last notable win, which was years ago. So, I think it's going to be a very one-sided fight for Robert Whitaker. I think he'll, you know, control the whole fight and just kind of do whatever he wants. Obviously, to an extent, right? Not just he'll do whatever he wants with Paulo because Paulo's a really good fighter. But, you know, the, the history, the resume, uh, you know, Robert Whitaker is just more active. I can just see him piecing up Paulo and just beating him on the ground, on the feet, um, and just, just in every exchange. Uh, and I think the only hope for Paulo Costa is if he can find a way to land that clean punch. Uh, we saw Robert's chin get tested against Duplices, um, which was a kind of accidental punch, I think, to be honest with you. Obviously, Drake is through it, but the way, you know, Robert Whitaker ran into that. And uh, Paulo Costa, I think he has a lot of power. The dude is shredded. Um, so if he can find a way to land a clean punch or just even a clean leg kick, I think that's where he can get the best of Robert. But he has to do that early, early on, like in the first round, um, you know, to establish that and then just to get the best of Robert. Because I think once he goes to the second or third, I think Paulo gets tired and then Robert just, you know, it's just going to beat him up. Um, and uh, I don't think Paulo Costa gets finished, but I see Robert Whitaker winning this one in decision. And Paulo Costa, the only way I see him winning is by knocking out Robert if he can find a way to uh, to land a clean punch against Robert Whitaker. So that's really what I think about the fight. Uh, I'm very excited, though. This fight's going to be, again, not, you know, like the Marab and Henry fight as well. I mean, this is a fight that's going to be fought in the middle, you know. I mean, there'll be movement all around the octagon, but they're going to be in their face the whole fight. Um, and, and each one of them is going to want to make a statement to to further their career in the UFC. So I'm excited, man. This fight's going to be a banger. And I really hope, you know, these guys are big boys. So I really hope that we can see a nice knockout for from either one, to be honest with you. So let me know what you guys think about this fight. Let me know who you guys have. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, 